Two broke hippies and friends in Shawnee started with two sisters in a garage. Everybody says, you're not old enough to be a hippie. Well, my sister <laughs> taught me all of it. <laughs> Tammy Mac's sister Karen may have taught her the hippie ways, but it takes both to create these groovy, customized goods. Me and Karen started this two years ago out of our house, just for something to do. And our following got so big, we had a little over 800 members within six months, and they were begging us to get a store. So that's what they did, and quickly decided they couldn't do it alone. They added vendors to their pad, like me and B. It's me and my friend Bonnie, so I'm Brenda and Bonnie, we're bees. These busy bees create everything you see in their booth. We have lots and lots of beads, so if you need anything beaded or um, we have purse, purse charms, got some hippie jars, just anything we can put beads on. There's not two of one thing that's alike. In fact, every booth offers something out of sight. Like Mike here, he does woodwork, he does the crosses, he does necklaces. And I have people who make resin earrings and different resin designs. Tammy even has a seamstress that will professionally fit you. She loves to make the 70s and 60s style pants and they sell great in here. On special occasions, the 70s theme welcomes visitors to the store with the Esmeralda VW bus. Tammy is a good friend of ours. Um, she lives in Jones and she has a bunch of Airbnbs. She comes down with her Volkswagen all the time so people can stop in and take pictures with it and look at it. This place is a gathering. It doesn't matter if you're a biker, if you're a homemaker, it's here. Be sure to visit Two Broke Hippies and Friends in Shawnee. I'm Jennifer Reynolds for Discover Oklahoma. Here's how to find out more about this great Oklahoma destination. As always, TravelOK.com is your best one-stop shop for information about all Oklahoma has to offer. Please press like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications.